Psalm 61 and Psalm 37 serve as powerful psalms of protection, offering comfort and assurance to believers facing trials and challenges. In Psalm 61, the psalmist finds solace in the assurance that God has been a refuge in the time past and will continue to be a stronghold in times of trouble. This psalm encourages believers to trust in God's unfailing protection and to find peace in His presence. Similarly, Psalm 37 provides guidance on how to navigate through life's uncertainties while remaining under God's protective care. The psalm advises against fretting over the apparent prosperity of the wicked and instead encourages trust in the Lord and commitment to righteousness. Together, Psalm 61 and Psalm 37 serve as reminders of God's steadfast protection and guidance for His people, offering hope and assurance in times of trouble. They inspire trust in God's sovereignty and encourage believers to find refuge in His presence. Join me as I pray for protection over your life using this psalm. Gracious God, I will praise you in the courts of your house, rejoicing in your presence forevermore. For the glorious deeds you have done in the lives of your children, I lift my voice in praise to you, dear Father. May the Lord not forsake you and his faithful one in Jesus' name. According to Psalm 37 verse 28, for the Lord loves the just and will not forsake his faithful ones. Wrongdoers will be completely destroyed. The offspring of the wicked will perish. May the Lord bring about the destruction of the wrongdoers in your life in Jesus' name. According to Psalm 37 verse 29, the righteous will inherit the land and dwell in it forever. May the Lord grant you the inheritance promised to the righteous in Jesus' name. May you dwell in the land forever. According to Psalm 37 verse 30, the mouths of the righteous utter wisdom and their tongues speak what is just. May your mouth be filled with wisdom and your tongue with words of justice in Jesus' name. I pray that your words be a source of blessing and encouragement to others reflecting the truth and righteousness of God's words. In Jesus' name, I pray that the laws of the Lord remain upon your heart. In Jesus' name. May you walk in obedience to the Lord, resisting the enemy that they flee from you. In Jesus' name, I pray that your feet is kept from slipping. In Jesus' name, according to Psalm 37 verse 31, the law of their God is in their hearts. Their feet do not sleep. I pray that the Lord guides you in the paths of righteousness. I pray that the Lord protects you from the schemes of the wicked who seek to harm and destroy you. In Jesus' name, I declare that the plans be foiled and that you are delivered from their grasp. As the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, I declare over you, Psalm 37, 32 to 33, over you, the wicked lie in wait for the righteous intent on putting them in death but the lord will not leave them in the power of the wicked or let them be condemned when brought to trial you shall never be condemned in jesus name i charge you with psalm 37 verse 34 hope in the lord and keep his way he will exalt you to inherit the land when the wicked are destroyed you will see it may the lord exalt you in jesus name May you behold with your eyes the downfall of the wicked who aim to destabilize you in Jesus' name. According to what the psalm is stated in Psalms 37, 35 to 36, I have seen wicked and ruthless people flourishing like a tree in its native soil, but when I looked again, they were gone. Though I searched for them, I could not find them. I declare that the seeming prosperity of the wicked 
harassing you be fleeting in Jesus name may they ultimately pass away in Jesus name I pray that their time will come to an end and they will be no more in Jesus name may the Lord help you to live blamelessly and walk uprightly before him may he guide you on the path of peace I pray that you advance into the future the Lord has prepared for you in the name of Jesus according to Psalm 37 verse 37 consider the blameless observe the upright a future awaits those who seek peace I pray that the Lord brings about the destruction of the wicked in your life in Jesus name I declare that there is no future for those who oppose your progress in Jesus name according to Psalm 37 verse 38 but all sinners will be destroyed. There will be no future for the wicked. Psalm 37 verse 9 says, The salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in time of trouble. I pray that you look to the Lord as your salvation and your stronghold in times of trouble. In Jesus' name, as your refuge and your fortress, may you find safety and security in the Lord. In Jesus' name. Psalm 37 verse 40 gives you an assurance the Lord helps them and delivers them he delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take a refuge in him I pray that you trust in the Lord's unfailing love and protection for you in Jesus name I pray that when your heart grows faint the Lord lifts you up to a place of safety and security higher than any trouble or trial in Jesus name I pray that when you call out to the Lord may he lead you to the solid rock of his presence according to how the psalmist experienced the Lord in Psalm 61 verse 3 for you have been my refuge a strong tower against the foe i pray that you will be able to declare the lord as your refuge and stronghold who protects you from the attacks of the enemy in jesus name may he be your mighty fortress in he may you find safety and shelter from every danger that you come across in jesus name i pray that you yearn to dwell in the lord's presence forever finding refuge under the shelter of his wings in jesus name as the psalmist did in psalm 6 to 1 verse 4 i long to dwell in your tent forever and take refuge in the shelter of your wings may the lord draw you close to him and let his presence surround you with peace and protection in jesus name i pray that you are granted the heritage of those who fear the name of the lord in psalm 6 to 1 verse 5 you have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. I pray that the days of your life are extended in Jesus' name. I pray that you are granted wisdom and discernment to lead a life with integrity and righteousness. May your years be blessed and your decisions guided by the end of the Lord in Jesus' name. May you be enthroned in the Lord's presence forever, walking in love and faithfulness. In Jesus' name, I pray that the Lord protect you with his unfailing love and surround you with his faithfulness in all your endeavors. I pray that any cords of death that seek to entangle you or your family be cut off in Jesus' name. I pray that you shall not be overwhelmed by distress and sorrow in the name of Jesus. May you enjoy peace in Jesus' name. I pray even in your darkest hour, you shall trust in the unfailing love of the Father and seek refuge in His comforting presence in Jesus' name. I pray that in the time of need, you look to the Father as your Savior and Redeemer trusting in his power to deliver you from every trial and hardship in Jesus name I pray that the gracious and righteous father surround you with his abounding compassion and mercy in Jesus name may the Lord extend his loving kindness to you who call upon his name may you experience in full his faithfulness endures forever in Jesus name according to the psalmist's prayer in psalm 116 verse 6 the lord protects the unwary when i was brought low he saved me i pray that the lord protects you when you're unwary i pray in jesus name 
May he come to your aid in moments where you seem your lowest. In Jesus' name, I pray that the might of the Lord lifts you up from the depths of despair. In Jesus' name, may you find rest in the presence of the Lord. In Jesus' name, according to Psalm 116 verse 7, Return to your rest, my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. I pray that you abound in the goodness of God, even in the midst of turmoil. May you trust in the faithfulness of the Lord and find peace in His unfailing love. In Jesus' name, according to the prayer of the psalmist in Psalm 116, verses 8 to 9, For you, Lord, have delivered me from death my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I pray that the Lord delivers you from the clutches of death, wipe away your tears and steady your feet in Jesus' name. May the Lord's hand of protection guide you through every trial in Jesus' name. I pray that you walk before the Father in the land of the living living a life that is pleasing to him in jesus name i pray strength and wisdom for you to walk in the ways of the lord all the days of your life in jesus name i pray that you trust in the lord when you are greatly afflicted in jesus name as the psalmist said in psalm 116 verse 10 i trusted in the lord when i said i am greatly afflicted in moments of fear and alarm i pray that you hold on to the truth of the Lord's promises over your life. In Jesus' name, I pray that the Lord rescues you from any brink of destruction you find yourself in. Gift of eternal life through your Son, Jesus Christ. As the psalmist mentioned in Psalm 116 verse 16, You have freed me from my chains. I declare that you are freed from every chain limiting your freedom and advancement. In Jesus' name, I declare that goodness of God in your life shall be proof to those around you of the faithfulness and grace of the Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray that in the times of trouble, when you cannot see or understand, I pray that you trust in truth that the Lord will never leave you or forsake you. In Jesus' name, I pray that the Lord protect you when you are weak and vulnerable to the schemes of the wicked. In Jesus' name, I declare that you are shielded from harm. In Jesus' name. I pray that justice is brought to those who seek to oppress and exploit you. In Jesus' name, I pray that the Lord break through the pride of your enemies and humble them. I pray that the Lord brings to an end the prosperity of the wicked who mock you. In Jesus' name, I pray that the Lord silences the lies and threats of the wicked over your life. In Jesus' name, I declare that their deceitful tongues and their plans to spread trouble and evil in your life is exposed and thwarted. In Jesus' name, I pray that a wall of fire surround you, protecting you from the schemes of the wicked who lie in wait to harm you. In Jesus' name, name i declare that you are delivered from every oppression you are faced under the grasp of the enemy in jesus name i declare that the plans of the wicked who seek to prey on you be disrupted in jesus name i pray that the lord rescues you when you find yourself ensnared in the traps of the enemy and deliver you to safety in jesus name According to Psalm 10 verse 12, Arise, Lord, lift up your hand. O oh God, do not forget the helpless. I pray that the hand of God is lifted up against the wicked who threaten you. In Jesus' name, may the righteousness of the Lord shine forth, bringing deliverance in Jesus' name. I declare that to the wicked that are determined to ensure that you do not succeed, the folly of their ways is revealed to them and the consequences of their actions. I declare to you that God sees your trouble when you are afflicted and considers your grief according to Psalm 10, 14. But you, God, see the trouble of the afflicted. You consider their grief and take it in hand. The victims commit themselves to you. You are the helper of the fatherless, as the helper of the fatherless and the protector of the oppressed. 
I pray that you experience those dimensions of him on your life in Jesus name. I commit you to the Lord knowing that he is your refuge and strength according to Psalm 10 15. Break the arm of the wicked man. Call the evil doer to account for his wickedness that will not otherwise be found. I pray that the Lord breaks the power of the wicked harassing you and hold them accountable for their deeds in Jesus name. I pray that the Lord hears your cries and when you are afflicted in Jesus name may he encourage you when you are in distress in Jesus name according to Psalm 10 17 to 18 you Lord hear the desires of the afflicted you encourage them and you listen to their cry defending the fatherless and the oppressed so that mere earthly mortals will never strike terror i declare that the lord defends you as it defends the fatherless and the oppressed ensuring that you will never be struck again with terror in jesus name you lord hear the desire of the afflicted you encourage them and you listen to their cry defending the fatherless and the oppressed so that mere earthly mortals will never again strike terror I declare that the Lord defends you as he defends the fatherless and the oppressed, ensuring that you will never again be struck with terror in Jesus' name. Today, I lift you up to God, trusting in God's unfailing love and seeking God's divine shelter in every circumstance. Verse 1 of Psalm 18, I love you, Lord, my strength. I declare God's love for you is your strength and your refuge. I thank God for being your rock and fortress, your deliverer in whom you take refuge. Today I cling to God as your source of strength and hope, knowing that in God's presence I find safety and security. Verse 2 of Psalm 18, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I thank God for being your rock and your fortress, your strong tower in times of trouble. May you take refuge in God, knowing that He is your shield and your salvation. Today I place you under God's divine protection trusting in God's mighty hand to shield you from every danger and threat in Jesus name. Verse 3 of Psalm 18, I called to the Lord who is worthy of praise and I have been saved from my enemies. May you call upon God's name knowing that he is worthy of all praise and honor. I thank God for the salvation and deliverance he has provided, rescuing you from the hands of your enemy. Today, I pray that your protection from all forms of harm and evil, trusting in God's power to save. I pray that the Lord will rescue you from every threat and every danger, shielding you from the attacks of the enemy. May the Lord strengthen you with his might and surround you with his angels, guarding you in every battle of life in Jesus' name. Verse 28 of Psalm 18, You, Lord, keep my lamp burning my god turns my darkness into light lord i thank you for keeping your beloved child's lamp burning bright even in the midst of darkness i pray that god will turn your darkness into light illuminating your path and guiding you in god's truth may he fill you with his light and his presence banishing every shadow of fear and doubt in jesus name i pray that god will shield you as you take refuge in him, may he protect you from every attack of the enemy, guarding your heart and your mind with his peace and his truth. I pray that God's right hand will sustain you in every trial and difficulty. May God's help make you great, empowering you to overcome every obstacle and to walk in victory. Verse 39 of Psalm 18. You armed me with strength for battle. You humbled my adversaries before me. I thank God that you are armed with strength for every battle. I pray that God will humble your adversaries before you, giving you victory over every foe. May the Lord strengthen you with resolve and empower you to stand firm in the face of opposition, 
knowing that he is with you always. I pray for you, knowing that you are facing challenges and uncertainties in your life. May you find solace in the words of Psalm 18, which declares God's faithfulness and protection over his beloved children. In the midst of trials and tribulation, may you take refuge in God, knowing that God is your stronghold and your salvation. May the Lord strengthen you and grant you the courage to stand firm in the face of adversity. I lift up my voice in prayer, declaring God's power and majesty, the one who rescues you from the snares of the enemy and delivers you from every danger. May you feel God's presence surrounding you, protecting you with God's mighty arm. I pray for God's divine intervention in your life. As you face challenges and obstacles, may the Lord go before you, clearing the path and making the way straight. May he strengthen your hands for battle and your fingers for war, empowering you to overcome every obstacle in your path. May you walk in victory, knowing that God has given you the victory over every adversary. May your enemies be scattered and defeated before you. For God is the God of all power and might. I pray for God's protection over every aspect of your life. May the Lord guard your mind from every doubt and fear and your heart from despair. May the Lord surround you with his angels who encamp around those who fear him, protecting you from harm and danger. May you feel God's presence with you always, guiding you through the storms of life and leading you into the light of his truth. Gracious God, I express gratitude for your unwavering love towards your children. Thank you for being a dependable father whom they can rely on. You are their source of strength, fortress and deliverance. Your presence serves as a solid foundation, offering safety and security. In you they find refuge and protection, the very source of their salvation and the stronghold of their lives. I declare that the dangers surrounding you will lose power to inflict harm in Jesus' name. May the righteous anger of the Lord cause the earth to tremble and the mountains to quake, instilling confusion among your enemies. As stated in Psalm 18 verse 5, the earth trembled and quaked, and the foundations of the mountains shook. They trembled because he was angry. I pray that his righteous anger acts as a shield around you, guarding you from harm in jesus name i declare that the torrents of destruction threatening to overwhelm you will cease in jesus name even when ensnared by the traps of the enemy and surrounded by the shadows of death i declare that you will remain unshaken in jesus name i declare that your steps are kept steady by the lord's guidance and i pray that he prevents your feet from stumbling or faltering. Just as the psalmist proclaimed in Psalm 18 verse 37 to 38, I pursued my enemies and overtook them. I did not turn back till they were destroyed. I crushed them so that they could not rise. They fell beneath my feet. I pray that the Lord goes before you in battle and grants you victory over your adversaries. With the Lord's strength and guidance, may you relentlessly pursue your enemies until they are defeated. May you crush your foes underfoot and render them powerless by the divine strength invested in you. I declare that the power of God is evident in your life as you stand victorious over every adversary. Psalm 18 verse 39 declares, You armed me with strength for battle. You humbled my adversaries before me. I declare that your adversaries are humbled and bow down before the mighty hand of the Lord. At the command of the Lord, I declare that your enemies flee in terror and I declare victory over them. As stated in Psalm 18 verse 40, You made my enemies turn their backs in flight and I destroyed my foes. I pray that the glory of the Lord is revealed as you triumph over every obstacle and adversity in your path in Jesus' name. I pray that the Lord envelopes you in the wings of his protection, 
lifting you above the dangers of this world in Jesus name may you perceive him as your light and salvation even in the darkest of times may the Lord serve as a covering for you shielding you from the enemy's schemes and enveloping you in the shelter of his love may his presence shine brightly in your life illuminating your path and scattering darkness Joseph Psalm 18 verse 12 describes out of the brightness of his presence clouds advanced with hailstones and bolts of lightning may the radiance of the Lord drive away foe with bolts of lightning and hailstones in Jesus name may the sound of God's voice over your life bring protection instilling fear in the hearts of your enemies as Psalm 18 verse 13 illustrates the Lord thundered from heaven. The voice of the Most High resounded. May the Lord scatter your enemies with his powerful arrows and bolts of lightning, as stated in Psalm 18 verse 14. He shot his arrows and scattered the enemy with great bolts of lightning. He routed them. I declare that your enemies will flee from you in terror in every direction, according to Psalm 18 verse 15. The valleys of the sea were exposed and the foundation of the earth laid bare at your rebuke, Lord, at the blast of breath from your nostrils. May the Lord rebuke every threat against you, exposing and rendering them ineffective in Jesus' name. May the breath of life from the Father sustain you in times of trouble. In Jesus' name, I pray that you move forward with your understanding that the Lord is your source of strength and the guardian of your journey. As Psalm 18 verse 32 affirms, It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. May the Lord clothe you with his might and keep you secure in his love. I declare that you walk with confidence. Knowing that the Lord is beside you every step of the way, as stated in Psalm 18 verse 33, He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He causes me to stand on the heights. I pray that the Lord empowers you to navigate life's challenges with agility and grace. May your feet be firmly planted on the heights of God's promises where you can stand in victory and offer praise to His holy name. According to Psalm 18 verse 34, He trains my hands for battle. My arms can bend a bow of bronze. I pray that the Lord equips you for spiritual battles you encounter each day. May He strengthen your hands for warfare and empower you to wield the weapons of righteousness with skill and precision. In times of trouble, I pray that the Lord serves as your refuge and shield sustaining you with his right hand and lifting you up as Psalm 18 verse 35 declares I declare that the Lord's assistance in your life elevates you in the eyes of your adversaries according to Psalm 18 verse 36 you provide a broad path for my feet so that my ankles do not give way I pray that the Lord smooths the path before you making a way where there seems to be no way as Psalm 18 verse 41 states, They cried for help, but there was no one to save them. To the Lord, but he did not answer. I pray that when your enemies cry out, their pleas remain on air because they have rejected the ways of the Lord and the fighters' commands. I pray that their cries for help go unanswered and they face the consequences of their rebellion. May your adversaries be scattered like chaff before the wind and may you trample them underfoot like mud in the streets. Just as the psalmist described in Psalm 18 verse 42, I beat them as fine as wind-blown dust. I trampled them like mud in the streets. I pray that justice prevails as your oppressors are crushed and you are vindicated. I pray that you are strengthened inwardly by the Spirit of God and that your faith is fortified, enabling you to stand firm in the truth of God's word. As Psalm 18 verse 17 states, He rescued me from my powerful enemy. For my foes who are too strong for me, I implore you to deliver me from the snares of the adversary. May every darkness seeking to consume you be dispelled in Jesus' name. May the path of righteousness illuminate before you 
and may the angels of the Lord surround you, encamping around you as a shield against the attacks of the enemy. I pray that the Lord grants you discernment to recognize the schemes of the evil one and wisdom to navigate through them victoriously. I lift you up to God, acknowledging that God is your shepherd, your guide and provider. May God lead you beside still waters and green pastures, providing for your every need. I pray that you will find comfort and peace in knowing that you lack nothing in God's care. May you trust in God's provision and follow God's lead, knowing that He is always with you. I lift you up to God, acknowledging that He is your shepherd and you lack nothing in God's care. I pray that you will trust in God's provision and guidance, knowing that God is faithful to lead you in paths of righteousness and abundance. May you find contentment and fulfillment in God's presence, knowing that God is always near to provide for your needs. I pray that you will feel the gentle guidance of God's hand, leading you along paths of righteousness for God's name's sake. Verse 2 of Psalm 23. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. I pray that you will experience the rest and refreshment that comes from lying down in God's green pastures and drinking from God's quiet waters. In the midst of life's busyness and chaos, may you find solace and tranquility in God's presence. May the Holy Spirit lead you beside the still waters of God's peace, where you can find rest for your soul. Lord, I thank you for the green pastures and quiet waters that you provide for your beloved child. In times of weariness and unrest, may you find rest and refreshment in God's presence. May you lie down in the safety of God's care, knowing that God is the good shepherd who watches over your every step. Verse 3 of Psalm 23. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. I pray for God's guidance and direction in life. May your soul be refreshed with God's presence, renewing your strength and vigor for the journey ahead. May the Lord lead you along the right paths, guiding you in the way of righteousness and truth. May your life bring glory to God's name, reflecting his goodness and faithfulness to all who see you. I pray for God's protection over you. Even as you walk in the darkest valleys of life, may you fear no evil, for God is with you. His rod and staff comfort you, guiding you through every trial and tribulation. May you feel warmth of God's embrace, shielding you from harm and danger. Verse 4 of Psalm 23 Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I pray for God's protection and comfort over you. Even in the darkest valleys of life, may you fear no evil, for God is with you. Let your heart be filled with courage and faith, knowing that God's road and his staff are there to guide and protect you. May you find comfort and strength in God's presence, trusting in God's unfailing love and care. Verse 5 of Psalm 23 You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. I thank you, Lord, for the abundance and blessings that you pour out upon your beloved child. The Lord prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies, showing you that God is your provider and protector. I pray that your cup may overflow with God's goodness and grace, filling you with joy and gratitude. The Lord anoints your head with oil and fill your cup to overflowing. May you experience the abundance of God's blessings and the richness of God's grace. May your cup run it over with God's goodness and mercy, filling you with joy and gratitude. 
verse 6 of Psalm 23. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I pray that you will experience the fullness of God's goodness and love each day of your life. May you dwell securely in God's presence. Finding peace and contentment in knowing that you are a beloved child of God. May you abide in God's house forever, rejoicing in the eternal fellowship of His love. In God's mercy and grace, I place you under God's divine protection. May you dwell securely in the shadow of God's wings, finding refuge and strength in God's presence. May the Lord guard you from every danger, guide you in the paths of righteousness, and fill you with a peace that surpasses all understanding. I pray that God's goodness and love will follow you all the days of your life. May you dwell in God's house forever, experiencing the fullness of God's presence and the richness of God's blessings. May this prayer of protection envelop you in the loving arms of the Almighty, shielding you from every danger and guiding you safely through life's journey. Gracious God, I raise my voice in worship, honoring your goodness and compassion. My praises ascend to you, acknowledging your magnificence. May my adoration be like fragrant incense, pleasing to your divine presence. Sovereign Lord, your righteousness and justice encompass all creation and your enduring love sustains every living being, guiding your children along the paths of righteousness. Just as the Lord spoke the heavens into existence and formed the stars with his breath, as stated in Psalm 33 verse 6, I pray for a protective barrier to surround you by his word. By his breath, I declare the disappearance of your adversaries in Jesus' name. As the Lord controls the waters of the sea, gathering them into jars and storing them as depicted in Psalm 33 verse 7, I pray for the Lord to command and consume your enemies with his fiery power in Jesus' name. According to Psalm 33 verse 8, let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the people of the world revere him. I pray for your adversaries to tremble in reverence before the Father dwelling within you and may all nations recognize his greatness and bow before his majesty as reflected through you in Jesus name. In Psalm 33 verse 10, it is stated, the Lord foils the plans of the nations, he twats the purposes of the peoples. I pray that the Lord disrupts the enemy's schemes over your life and obstructs thy intentions. In Jesus name, I declare that the Lord's intentions prevail above all else in Jesus name as Psalm 33 verse 11 declares but the plans of the Lord stands firm forever the purposes of his heart through all generations I pray that the Lord's plan for your life remains steadfast throughout all generations in Jesus name may his purposes for you remain unwavering in Jesus name I proclaim you blessed as one who acknowledges the Father as your God and Lord, in accordance with Psalm 33 verse 12, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he chose for his inheritance. I declare you chosen as part of the Lord's inheritance, in Jesus' name. As Psalm 33 verse 14 affirms, From his dwelling place he watches all who live on earth, I pray that the Lord's eyes are continuously upon you in Jesus' name. May his presence encompass you wherever you may journey in Jesus' name. Psalm 73 verse 1 confirms God's kindness towards Israel, especially to those with pure hearts. I pray for your resilience to maintain purity amidst life's chaos clinging to God's goodness. May you find comfort knowing that God's goodness extends to those who seek Him, even in trials. Where adversity looms, may your faith be fortified 
your determination renewed and may you find the strength to persevere in Jesus name. I declare that the Lord wonderfully assists you in navigating life's challenges, serving as your unwavering support. In moments of confusion, may you remember that justice prevails and those opposing God's will for you will ultimately falter. As Psalm 73 verse 18 asserts, Psalm 62 verse 2 proclaims, You alone are my rock and my salvation, my fortress where I find refuge. Amid unseen battles and the enemy's relentless schemes, I pray that you proclaim the Lord as your stronghold, rock and refuge against all attacks in Jesus' name. As the psalmist acknowledged in Psalm 73 verse 23, stating, Nevertheless, I am continually with you. You hold my right hand. I affirm the Father's presence with you amidst challenges. I pray that amidst adversity, you find strength in the Lord's companionship. May you find peace in the wisdom of the Lord and trust in his plans, especially when the path I had appears unclear and daunting. When doubts cloud your mind and make hardships weigh heavily on your heart, may you take solace in Psalm 73 verse 26. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my passion forever. As you navigate life's storms, may you draw strength from the knowledge of the Father as your unwavering anchor. You are equipped with the resilience to endure, the faith to persevere, and the courage to overcome every obstacle in your path. I declare strength for you to rise above adversity, and you are empowered with grace to confront each trial. Psalm 33 verse 16 to 17 emphasizes that neither the size of an army nor the strength of a warrior can ensure salvation or deliverance. It underscores the fertility of placing trust in earthly resources for protection. I pray that you grasp the importance of placing your trust solely in the Lord, recognizing Him as your ultimate protector and defender, whose strength surpasses all others. May your hope rest entirely in Him, acknowledging Him as your deliverer and source of salvation, as someone who puts their hope in God alone. I declare Psalm 33 verses 18 to 19 over you, but the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear Him, on those whose hope in His unfailing love to deliver them from death and keep them alive in famine. I pray that the Lord watches over you with loving care guiding you along paths of righteousness. May he deliver you from the clutches of death and sustain you through times of scarcity. May you experience the Lord's provision and protection abundantly throughout your life. I affirm that the mighty deeds of the Lord in your life cause your enemies to tremble in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord instills fear in the hearts of your adversaries, compelling them to flee from the strongholds as stated in Psalm 33 verse 45, they all lose heart. They come trembling from their strongholds. May the power of the Father manifest in your life as your enemies scatter and may they acknowledge his supreme authority in Jesus' name. I pray that your trust in the Lord remains unwavering and that you find strength and refuge in him. As Psalm 33 verse 20 declares, he is our help and our shield. May your heart rejoice in the Lord as you trust in his holy name. According to Psalm 33 verse 21, in him our hearts rejoice for we trust in his holy name. May you experience joy, peace and unfailing love of the Father surrounding you always as you put your hope in the Lord as expressed in Psalm 33 verse 22. May your unfailing love be with us, Lord, even as we put our hope in you. Today, I lift you up to God, trusting in God's unfailing love and seeking God's divine shelter in every circumstance. Verse 1 of Psalm 18, I love you, Lord, my strength. I declare God's love for you is your strength and your refuge. I thank God for being your rock and fortress your deliverer in whom you take refuge. 
Today I cling to God as your source of strength and hope. Knowing that in God's presence, I find safety and security. Verse 2 of Psalm 18, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I thank God for being your rock and your fortress, your strong tower in times of trouble. May you take refuge in God, knowing that He is your shield and your salvation. Today I place you under God's divine protection, trusting in God's mighty hand to shield you from every danger and threat. In Jesus' name, verse 3 of Psalm 18, I called to the Lord who is worthy of praise, and I have been saved from my enemies. May you call upon God's name, knowing that He is worthy of all praise and honor. I thank God for the salvation and deliverance he has provided, rescuing you from the hands of your enemy. Today, I pray that your protection from all forms of harm and evil, trusting in God's power to save. I pray that the Lord will rescue you from every threat and every danger, shielding you from the attacks of the enemy. May the Lord strengthen you with his might and surround you with his angels guarding you in every battle of life in jesus name verse 28 of psalm 18 you lord keep my lamp burning my god turns my darkness into light lord i thank you for keeping your beloved child's lamp burning bright even in the midst of darkness i pray that god will turn your darkness into light illuminating your path and guiding you in god's truth may he fill you with his light and his presence Banishing every shadow of fear and doubt in Jesus' name. I pray that God will shield you as you take refuge in Him. May He protect you from every attack of the enemy. Guarding your heart and your mind with His peace and His truth. I pray that God's right hand will sustain you in every trial and difficulty. May God's help make you great empowering you to overcome every obstacle and to walk in victory. Verse 39 of Psalm 18 You armed me with strength for battle. You humbled my adversaries before me. I thank God that you are armed with strength for every battle. I pray that God will humble your adversaries before you, giving you victory over every foe. May the Lord strengthen you with resolve and empower you to stand firm in the face of opposition, knowing that He is with you always. I pray for you, knowing that you are facing challenges and uncertainties in your life. May you find solace in the words of Psalm 18, which declares God's faithfulness and protection over His beloved children. In the midst of trials and tribulation, may you take refuge in God, knowing that God is your stronghold and your salvation. May the Lord strengthen you and grant you the courage to stand firm in the face of adversity. I lift up my voice in prayer, declaring God's power and majesty, the one who rescues you from the snares of the enemy and delivers you from every danger. May you feel God's presence surrounding you, protecting you with God's mighty arm. I pray for God's divine intervention in your life. As you face challenges and obstacles, may the Lord go before you, clearing the path and making the way straight. May He strengthen your hands for battle and your fingers for war, empowering you to overcome every obstacle in your path. May you walk in victory, knowing that God has given you the victory over every adversary. May your enemies be scattered and defeated before you. For God is the God of all power and might. I pray for God's protection over every aspect of your life. May the Lord guard your mind from every doubt and fear and your hearts from despair. May the Lord surround you with his angels who encamp around those who fear him, protecting you from harm and danger. May you feel God's presence with you always, guiding you through the storms of life and leading you into the light of his truth. Gracious God, I express gratitude for your unwavering love towards your children. Thank you for being a dependable father whom they can rely on. 
You are their source of strength, fortress and deliverance. Your presence serves as a solid foundation, offering safety and security. In you they find refuge and protection, the very source of their salvation and the stronghold of their lives. I declare that the dangers surrounding you will lose power to inflict harm in Jesus' name. May the righteous anger of the Lord cause the earth to tremble and the mountains to quake, instilling confusion among your enemies. As stated in Psalm 18 verse 5, the earth trembled and quaked, and the foundations of the mountains shook. They trembled because he was angry. I pray that his righteous anger acts as a shield around you, guarding you from harm. In Jesus' name, I declare that the torrents of destruction threatening to overwhelm you will cease in Jesus' name. Even when ensnared by the traps of the enemy and surrounded by the shadows of death, I declare that you will remain unshaken in Jesus' name. I declare that your steps are kept steady by the Lord's guidance, and I pray that he prevents your feet from stumbling or faltering. Just as the psalmist proclaimed in Psalm 18 verse 37 to 38, I pursued my enemies and overtook them. I did not turn back till they were destroyed. I crushed them so that they could not rise. They fell beneath my feet. I pray that the Lord goes before you in battle and grants you victory over your adversaries. With the Lord's strength and guidance, may you relentlessly pursue your enemies until they are defeated. May you crush your foes underfoot and render them powerless by the divine strength invested in you. I declare that the power of God is evident in your life as you stand victorious over every adversary. Psalm 18 verse 39 declares, you armed me with strength for battle. You humbled my adversaries before me. I declare that your adversaries are humbled and bow down before the mighty hand of the Lord. At the command of the Lord, I declare that your enemies flee in terror and I declare victory over them. As stated in Psalm 18 verse 40, you made my enemies turn their backs in flight, and I destroyed my foes. I pray that the glory of the Lord is revealed as you triumph over every obstacle and adversity in your path in Jesus' name. I pray that the Lord envelops you in the wings of his protection, lifting you above the dangers of this world in Jesus' name. May you perceive him as your light and salvation even in the darkest of times. May the Lord serve as a covering for you, shielding you from the enemy's schemes and enveloping you in the shelter of his love. May his presence shine brightly in your life, illuminating your path and scattering darkness. Joseph Psalm 18 verse 12 describes, out of the brightness of his presence, clouds advanced, with hailstones and bolts of lightning. May the radiance of the Lord drive away foe with bolts of lightning and hailstones. In Jesus' name, may the sound of God's voice over your life bring protection, instilling fear in the hearts of your enemies. As Psalm 18 verse 13 illustrates, the Lord thundered from heaven. The voice of the Most High resounded. May the Lord scatter your enemies with his powerful arrows and bolts of lightning, as stated in Psalm 18 verse 14. He shot his arrows and scattered the enemy with great bolts of lightning. He routed them. I declare that your enemies will flee from you in terror in every direction, according to Psalm 18 verse 15. The valleys of the sea were exposed and the foundation of the earth laid bare at your rebuke, Lord, at the blast of breath from your nostrils. May the Lord rebuke every threat against you, exposing and rendering them ineffective in Jesus' name. May the breath of life from the Father sustain you in times of trouble. In Jesus' name, I pray that you move forward with your understanding that the Lord is your source of strength and the guardian of your journey. As Psalm 18 verse 32 affirms, It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. May the Lord clothe you with his might and keep you secure in his love. I declare that you walk with confidence 
knowing that the Lord is beside you every step of the way. As stated in Psalm 18 verse 33, He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He causes me to stand on the heights. I pray that the Lord empowers you to navigate life's challenges with agility and grace. May your feet be firmly planted on the heights of God's promises where you can stand in victory and offer praise to his holy name. According to Psalm 18 verse 34, He trains my hands for battle. My arms can bend a bow of bronze. I pray that the Lord equips you for spiritual battles you encounter each day. May he strengthen your hands for warfare and empower you to wield the weapons of righteousness with skill and precision in times of trouble. I pray that the Lord serves as your refuge and shield, sustaining you with his right hand and lifting you up as Psalm 18 verse 35 declares. I declare that the Lord's assistance in your life elevates you in the eyes of your adversaries. According to Psalm 18 verse 36, you provide a broad path for my feet so that my ankles do not give way. I pray that the Lord smooths the path before you, making a way where there seems to be no way. As Psalm 18 verse 41 states, They cried for help, but there was no one to save them. To the Lord, but he did not answer. I pray that when your enemies cry out, their pleas remain on air because they have rejected the ways of the Lord and the Fidus commands. I pray that their cries for help go unanswered and they face the consequences of their rebellion. May your adversaries be scattered like chaff before the wind and may you trample them underfoot like mud in the streets. Just as the psalm is described in Psalm 18 verse 42, I bit them as fine as wind-blown dust. I trample them like mud in the streets. I pray that justice prevails as your oppressors are crushed and you are vindicated. I pray that you are strengthened inwardly by the Spirit of God and that your faith is fortified, enabling you to stand firm in the truth of God's word. As Psalm 18 verse 17 states, He rescued me from my powerful enemy. From my foes who are too strong for me, I implore you to deliver me from the snares of the adversary. May every darkness seeking to consume you be dispelled in Jesus' name. May the path of righteousness illuminate before you. And may the angels of the Lord surround you, encamping around you as a shield against the attacks of the enemy. I pray that the Lord grants you discernment to recognize the schemes of the evil one and wisdom to navigate through them victoriously. I lift you up to God acknowledging that God is your shepherd, your guide and provider. May God lead you beside still waters and green pastures providing for your every need. I pray that you will find comfort and peace in knowing that you lack nothing in God's care. May you trust in God's provision and follow God's lead, knowing that He is always with you. I lift you up to God, acknowledging that He is your shepherd and you lack nothing in God's care. I pray that you will trust in God's provision and guidance, knowing that God is faithful to lead you in paths of righteousness and abundance. May you find contentment and fulfillment in God's presence knowing that God is always near to provide for your needs. I pray that you will feel the gentle guidance of God's hand, leading you along paths of righteousness for God's name's sake. Verse 2 of Psalm 23, He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. I pray that you will experience the rest and refreshment that comes from lying down in God's green pastures and drinking from God's quiet waters. In the midst of life's busyness and chaos, may you find solace and tranquility in God's presence. May the Holy Spirit lead you beside the still waters of God's peace where you can find rest for your soul. Lord, I thank you for the green pastures and quiet waters that you provide for your beloved child. 
in times of weariness and unrest, may you find rest and refreshment in God's presence. May you lie down in the safety of God's care, knowing that God is the good shepherd who watches over your every step. Verse 3 of Psalm 23. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. I pray for God's guidance and direction in life. May your soul be refreshed with God's presence, renewing your strength and vigor for the journey ahead. May the Lord lead you along the right paths, guiding you in the way of righteousness and truth. May your life bring glory to God's name, reflecting his goodness and faithfulness to all who see you. I pray for God's protection over you. Even as you walk in the darkest valleys of life, may you fear no evil, for God is with you. His rod and staff comfort you, guiding you through every trial and tribulation. May you feel warmth of God's embrace, shielding you from harm and danger. Verse 4 of Psalm 23 Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I pray for God's protection and comfort over you. Even in the darkest valleys of life, may you fear no evil, for God is with you. Let your heart be filled with courage and faith, knowing that God's road and his staff are there to guide and protect you. May you find comfort and strength in God's presence, trusting in God's unfailing love and care. Verse 5 of Psalm 23 You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. I thank you, Lord, for the abundance and blessings that you pour out upon your beloved child. The Lord prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies, showing you that God is your provider and protector. I pray that your cup may overflow with God's goodness and grace, filling you with joy and gratitude. The Lord anoints your head with oil and fill your cup to overflowing. May you experience the abundance of God's blessings and the richness of God's grace. May your cup run it over with God's goodness and mercy, filling you with joy and gratitude. Verse 6 of Psalm 23 Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I pray that you will experience the fullness of God's goodness and love each day of your life. May you dwell securely in God's presence, finding peace and contentment in knowing that you are a beloved child of God. May you abide in God's house forever, rejoicing in the eternal fellowship of His love. In God's mercy and grace, I place you under God's divine protection. May you dwell securely in the shadow of God's wings, finding refuge and strength in God's presence. May the Lord guard you from every danger, guide you in the paths of righteousness, and fill you with a peace that surpasses all understanding. I pray that God's goodness and love will follow you all the days of your life, May you dwell in God's house forever, experiencing the fullness of God's presence and the richness of God's blessings. May this prayer of protection envelop you in the loving arms of the Almighty, shielding you from every danger and guiding you safely through life's journey. Amen.